Now it is time for our bonus lecture. Since we have created a working server-side SOAP endpoint service, we will learn how to use Spring Boot to create a SOAP client application that will send the insurance request to our SOAP endpoint and receive the insurance application response in return. Let's have a look at our step-by-step -step process for creating a SOAP client with Spring Boot. First, we will create our Spring Boot project using the Spring Initializer, which we will then import into IntelliJ. Then we will create the relevant classes or POJOs that we need to interact with our SOAP endpoint using the JAXV2 Maven plugin and the auto-generated whistle from our SOAP service. We will create an insurance client class that will populate an insurance request object and call our SOAP endpoint in order to receive the insurance response object. We will create a configuration class that will serialize the outgoing and incoming relevant insurance classes to and from XML. Finally, we will extend the generated Spring Boot application class with the command line runner that will enable us to run the SOAP client inside IntelliJ. Ready for step one, looking at the Spring Initializer at start.spring.io. We will select a Maven project, the language obviously Java, Spring Boot version 2.15, our group ID, our artifact ID, looking at some of the options here. We will select jar packaging and Java version 8. Here we will not be selecting the Spring Boot WS package because that package is actually only required for the server side SOAP implementation. So we will only select dev tools. Now we'll select generate project and it will download it to our download directory for us. Show in folder. Extract all. There it is in our Udemy SOAP client directory. Now we will import it into IntelliJ. Import the Maven project. Select import Maven project automatically. We will open it in a new window. And here it is. Now we are ready for step two, where we are actually going to generate our POJOs using the JAXP2 Maven plugin. Now if we look at our created farm.xml, we'll see we got the Spring Boot starter, the dev tools, the starter test, and the Maven plugin. And obviously we need the JAXP2 plugin. It's going to be the same plugin that we used in our server side implementation. So let's just go over there. Here we are back in our server side endpoint. And we'll just cut and paste the plugin since we're going to reuse it on the client side. We will paste it in here into our SOAP client form. And now we are not going to generate it from our server-side XSG. We are actually going to hit our automatically generated whistle and use that whistle file to generate the POJOs for us. So here we're going to change our configuration to actually use the generated whistle file from our SOAP endpoint that we already created. We're no longer using a directory. 
we're going to enter our client package name. We will define the endpoint URL in our schema element. This is where our whistle is being generated from the endpoint. So let's just make sure that it's up and running. Back to our SOAP endpoint. So we're going to run it through our Tomcat plugin. It's been started, so let's make sure that we can still get to our generated whistle. Yep, there is our generated whistle. Now back to our SOAP client with our new Maven JXP2 plugin here. And let's see what happens when we run clean package. It looks like it found a whistle. So let's look at our generator classes. There we have all our familiar classes that we also have in our SOAP endpoint. This time we just generated it from the whistle in our SOAP endpoint. This concludes the first two steps in our bonus SOAP client with Spring Tutorial where we looked at creating our Spring Boot SOAP client and also creating the Pojo classes with the JXP2 plugin. In our next video, we will look at creating the insurance client class. I will also add a link in the description of this video to my Udemy course where you will be able to download the accompanying source code in zip file format.